wanting something to happen to another person. Listen to me. God hates selfish people. God hates selfish people. My prayer is not for me. I'm praying for my brother. I'm praying for my sister. I'm praying for my relative. I'm praying for my auntie. I'm praying for my grandpapa. I'm praying for the president of this nation. I'm praying for somebody. Now listen to me. I am tired of seeing the devil take people out of the ministry. I'm tired of seeing the devil take people out of the vineyard of God. Is there anybody in the service today who is saying, God, I want to sacrifice my selfishness and begin to lead a prayer, not for me, but for my brother. I will pray on behalf of my sisters. My prayer is not for me today. My prayer is for my sister, that my sister can come out of sin and follow Jesus. You are willing to forget your troubles for a moment. You are willing to forget your problems for a moment. And the next time you are going to lift a prayer, it's not going to be your prayer. It's going to be a prayer for your sister to come out of something. Preach that to a preacher. The next time you are going to lift a prayer, it will be a prayer to heal your sick neighbor. The next time you are going to lift a prayer, it will be a prayer to change your society. I'm about to preach right now. Tell your neighbor, God hates selfishness. God hates selfishness. A woman who had given up, she went one day to a counselor and she was talking to the counselor. She said to the counselor, my husband is a, an addict and my marriage cannot work anymore. Is there anything I can do to rescue my marriage? And the counselor looked the lady in the face and said, lady, there is someone above there. If we have lost our hope and we put our hope in him, he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can imagine. So let Ladies and gentlemen, it's another thing to give up on it, and it's another thing to give up on God. Listen to this. The battle you are in, even right now, is not your battle. The battle you are fighting today is not your battle. The battle belongs to God, and I came here to announce to you, God is getting ready to take that battle out of your hands. God is getting ready to get it out of your life. Out of your house, out of your family, out of that four corner structure.